thanks for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, flea markets, just about anywhere we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Today's video is going to be a haul video showing everything I purchased at an estate sale today that was 50% off. I took my camera to the estate sale, but unfortunately when I got there, I discovered that my SD card was full and I wasn't able to record. But that's okay, we'll go over everything that I found today and you'll get to see what kind of things I found and whether or not I think I'm gonna be able to make a profit on them. Um, I didn't do a lot of comping at the sale because it was pretty crowded and uh, I didn't wanna to spend too much time there. Um, so. Some of the things I bought I think are a little bit iffy, but I do think we got some real home runs and a few good bread and butter items. I spent $154 total, which is a lot for us for an estate sale, but um, they did have a lot of good items left over. Their prices from the full price part of the sale were pretty high, so they had a lot of items remaining and we're trying to clear them out at 50% off. So let's get started and you can see what I got and you can let us know in the comments below whether or not you think we did a good job. All right, thanks. All right, let's get started. All right, thanks. Okay, all right, the first thing I got, um, and I'm not sure about this one. I'm, I'm not sure what this is gonna be worth oh, it or not. Oh, and I did not go because I'm not feeling well. So I am seeing all of this for the first time as yeah, well. Yeah, haven't seen this for the first time. These are questionable. I did not comp these at all because the media area of the sale was like packed with people. So comping in that area was nearly impossible. I felt like people were bumping into me the whole time. I also had a lot of stuff in my hands and it was just really hard to, to comp. But these are all vintage um, children's records. Are they 78s? I guess so. What are those? We well, have to look They're at the called... actual record. Here, let me hit me one. I got 14 of these. They were marked $4, so I paid $2 a piece. And there's multiple different ones and they all have the cases or the sleeves, although the sleeves are in really rough shape. And it was really dark in there, so I wasn't really able to see the condition of the records very well, but we can test them all out. It doesn't say, but they look, size-wise, they look like they're 78s. I had a bunch of this kind of stuff when I was a kid. All this kid stuff is 78s. So, I, I mean, we've never sold anything like this, so I have no idea what the value is. But I paid $2 a piece for these, and we can at least get our money back out of them, I think. But whether or not we'll make a lot on them remains to be seen. We'll find out. But I got all of these. I don't know if we will do them in Ooh, lots. Ooh, in his harmonica. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> or if we'll do them individually. I'm guessing we'll probably do them in lots, but I thought they were interesting. I think these are 50s probably, maybe 60s. It's hard to say, but it looks kind of 50s. I mean, they were cool. Even if, you know, we don't make a lot of money, I'll be interested to learn more about these. Will Pedro and the Street Singers. These came off of some of them. We'll have to reattach those. And then this one. And let's go to the rodeo. No oh, thanks. So that's one I'm kind of iffy about. We'll put this in the maybe. Maybe. Eh, maybe. This one I actually intended to comp and then got immediately distracted and forgot. This is a Michael Jackson 45. I uh, want to be starting something. Good so. I guess that's all that's on it. The instrumental version and and, and the regular radio version. So I have no idea if that What's was worth it. One? I think I paid either a dollar or two dollars for it. Hmm. I don't know if that was worth it or not. This was, I did not comp it, but I do think this will end up being worth it. This I paid two dollars and fifty cents for, and it is a happy birthday record party set. And it's unused, although it has a little tear up here. And it has a record in it that has a bunch of birthday songs on it. This record does seem to be in pretty good condition. Needs some cleaning. And then it has a book that has, it's unused, all of the, here I'll move this record so I can show you more. It has not been written in or anything. It's like a, it could be used as a storybook or a coloring book. 
I want to be really careful with it because it's very brittle. Yeah, it's very brittle. Looks like it has punch outs in it the back. It does. It has um, punch outs on the back that are like oh, paper cute. dolls. Yeah. And then it's got like a section in here where you can use the paper dolls and all the punch outs are still in place, which I thought would add a lot of value to it. And this that's book probably worth two fifty. Is from um, it was dated nineteen fifty one. I think this the other stuff is the same. I think it's all fifty stuff so based on the style. I figured for two fifty, the fact that this didn't have any writing in it and that all the punch outs were still in place, that that would definitely be worth it. Um, now this, um, I'm unsure about because I didn't go through and count the records in it, but this is supposed to have 10 records in it, 10 Sesame Street records in it. Oh, that's cool. So if it has all 10 records in it, and if they're all in good condition, this might be worth something. I think I paid $2 for this. So I think we'll that see. was probably a good pickup. Yeah. And then I also got these children's records. I paid $2 a piece for these. I have no idea whether these will be worth it or not. I don't know about these, but again, but they were, from you the know, kind of nostalgic. They look really cool. This one was cool, only $1.50 for some reason. The art on them is really neat. Yeah, I thought so. We could lot them all together. So we'll test those out. Now, these I, I know are going to be worth it because we sell a lot of audiobooks, books on tape. And all of these audiobooks were only 50 cents. Okay, that's good. So, um, I didn't open them all. Like I said, the media section was really busy, lots of people around. So, I don't know for sure that all the cassettes are in here, and we also have to test them. But for 50 cents, I was just willing to grab them all and risk it. Um, but we sell audiobooks a lot, we do well with them. So, I just grabbed them all. Um, but I got all of these. This one is, I guess appears to be like a kind of a mystery, bygones, another one. The cases are not in great shape and they need a good cleaning, but um, this, the person who owned them seemed to like a lot of mysteries. This one is another mystery. This one seems to be maybe well, they were a- rough with them. Yeah, this one seems to be a romance novel. Likely to die, I'm gonna guess that's a mystery likely a mystery. The carousel appears to be another mystery. And then these are in better shape. These are old library books, probably purchased at one of those library stores because of Western. This one might also be another Western. You know, a lot of times I find these all the time at thrift stores and they are barely used or never used. These are very well used. These are very used. Oh, yeah. these came from a library, that's why. Yeah. So these were checked out by multiple people. So um, this one's another library. another mystery. So I got all those for yeah. 50 cents. I've sold this item in the past. I picked this item up previously when we sold it at a thrift store and was just curious about it. It was new in the package and was really surprised at how quickly it sold and how much it sold for. And I feel like the last time we sold it, we sold it for too little because we had so many offers on it, like so many washers and so many offers. And I thought if I ever see another one of those, I'm gonna pick it up again and I'm gonna list it for more. And I found another one new in the package and it is this Lightkeeper Pro. <laughs> so this is actually a Bolo, I know for sure, because we have sold one of these before. And I don't remember, last time I think we sold it for like $25 I maybe? Think so. Because it sold in like, you know, a few days. Okay, the next item I found, I just picked it up because it was vintage in the package. And these are outdoor oh, the light packaging. clips. Yeah, it had a really cool vintage packaging, Christmas light clips. I don't know how much I paid for it, probably 25 cents or something. It wasn't marked. And then I found this um, vintage Norman Rockwell book that's in a slip cover. Mm, slip um, cover nice. I believe I paid $2 for this book or $2.50. I comped that book and I think it sells for around $25. And um, this is Vintage Pillowcases by Fieldcrest, new in the package. I paid $5 for these. I haven't comped them, but we could probably get at least $20 for them, I'm guessing, $15 or $20 for them, maybe more. Sometimes vintage um, bedding and stuff goes for a lot. Okay, 
Um, this book, I, I comped, but I couldn't find this exact version of it. it I, I think it might be like a mystery book or something, but it's from... Hmm, 1939. This is a 1939 book. And the other versions that I saw were selling, gosh, now I can't remember, but it was at least $25. I don't know. Do not quote me on that. It was definitely worth what I paid for it, which I think was $2. So worth it on that one. Um, now this book, The Nature of Human Sexuality, I could not find this version with the rainbow. That was really cool. Print, the rainbow um, cover anywhere. And I thought that this was such a unique cover. And this is a vintage book. It's actually in really good shape. Yeah, and I thought it was so striking, such a striking cover. This book is from 1973, and the other versions of this book were selling for at least $20, and I thought that this rainbow cover would definitely, definitely be worth something. I need to do further research on this, but I have a really good feeling about that one. I would have grabbed that one just because it looks cool. Yeah, super cool. Um, I picked up these two recipe booklets. I think I probably paid 50 cents each for these. I don't know how much they're going to be worth, but I know that these vintage recipe booklets do sell and, you know, you can't get tons for them, maybe $10 a piece for them, but I know that people really like these, so I grabbed those. These are kind of neat. Well, this place yeah. had a lot of vintage I know, stuff. I know. So I searched, I found this um, Return of the Jedi. Ewoks joined the fight book, uh. and it was it's supposed to be a book and a cassette and I was like I gotta find that cassette I looked everywhere and I found the cassette oh. so I'm hoping that this is worth something I don't know if it is Jeb Jeb I did find it so we'll see if it's worth anything I paid two dollars for that then all of these books are children's books with a um, record so I got Funny Bunny, Disney, Little Red Riding Hood, and Cry Baby Duck. I think I paid $2 each for those. They're probably worth around $10 each, but it reminded me of my childhood. I couldn't pass up on those. These are in surprisingly good shape as I well. I know. They had some more books, but I couldn't find the matching records. Then I got this hat for $3.50. I know nothing about hats. I just grabbed it. I thought it was worth at least three fifty. Oh, this is one of those that goes on your head. <laughs> At the register, they had a bunch of little like tchotchke kind of things, and I didn't comp any of this. I bought all of this stuff based on. It was also extremely dark by the register. I bought all of this stuff based on just my gut instinct. So I paid either $2 or $3 for each of these pieces. I got this wooden carved duck. I probably paid $3 for him. That's a cool duck. We tend to do well with ducks. Somebody will People that. like ducks. I also got this little duck. Probably paid $2 for him. I got this um, little lamb. He had a marking on the bottom. It says made in Japan and it has another marking. See if you can Japan's always good. So I think I paid $2 for that. And I got this duck. This duck has a, has a sticker on the bottom that says W-I-W. -W. I'll have to research what that is. I probably paid three dollars for him. And then I got this dock, probably paid two dollars for that one. This is a pewter duck. I think I paid two dollars for that. And I got this little pear. I probably paid four dollars for the pear. And then I think I paid $5 for this little pair, which I just thought somebody would want to buy because they were cute. And then I just picked this up because I thought somebody is going to want this tiny little box. 
and it did have a marking inside and it says Italy on the inside. And I can't tell anything else about it other than it says Italy on the inside and I think I paid $2 for that. Okay, then I got these little Avon Bon Bon um, perfumes. One of them is called Unforgettable and one of them is called Occur. And um, they're little, <laughs> it has an exclamation point on it. They're little um, poodles, aren't they cute? Oh. And um, I comped these while I was standing there. And these were selling for at least 13 to $15 each. Are they full? So, I think so. So um, we'll have to look at them more carefully. So I think that we can Do you get, remember which one was which? Yeah, this one goes in here. This is unforgettable. So they can, um, I think we can probably sell them for $25 for the set, but I need to do a little bit more research on that. I paid $10 for the pair. We might be able to get more for them because I was just really comping the bonbon. I wasn't comping the scent. So they might be more valuable. They might be less valuable. I don't know. These might not have been worth it, but the boxes I picked them up. are neat too. This one I feel like was, was worth it. They had a lot of Avon cologne, a lot of the Avon signature decorative boxes. And I only picked up these three boxes um, because I did comp a lot of them and most of them weren't worth it. I just thought these three might've been worth it. This one I feel like is, was definitely oh worth it. Oh my God, that is cool. This one is called um, Avon Small World and um, Really I cool. comped this one and it depends on which version you have. This appears to be the Asian version. They have different, it's like, you know, people from, children from around the world, I guess. So um, I need to do further research on this particular version and see how much this one was worth, but it was definitely worth at least $25. Um, and I paid $6 for this. So, and it's still got perfume in it as well. This is not an empty bottle. So that is also helpful. So if you ever see this Avon Small World, I think some of them, depending on which bottle you have, can be very valuable. And then, at the very and I'm, I'm saving the most valuable thing for the, for the very end. But at the very end of the sale, he had a, a glass case and it was full of Texas Rangers and a couple of other types, of, I think one other kind of pen. And so he had them all marked for $6. So I, he wanted $3 each for them. And I said, well, how much would you take for all of the pens if I just bought all the pens? And I think there were 17 pens. There are 17 or 18 pins, and he counted them up and he said $50. So that would have made each of the pins almost three dollars. Yeah, a little <laughs> less than three dollars, like two dollars and two ninety five. No, it was like two, <laughs> 270 or 280. So I went ahead and did that. I did not comp any of these. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it or not. Um, but I just took the risk because I, I didn't want to stand there and comp in front of him and I just thought, well, you know, we can at least probably get our money back out of those. I have no idea what if these pins are worth it or not. We'll give it a shot. So let me show you what we got. And if you know anything about pins and you, you can let us know if we paid too much in the comments below. This is where I feel like, you know, this could be like a real home run or it could be a real Bell mistake. Ball. Yeah. So um, the one that we got that was not Rangers related that I've already comped and I know was not worth it was um, this 1984 Olympics logo pen. This one was um, selling online for about $10. So, you know, we won't bucks. lose money on that, but it definitely wasn't like, you know, worth it. This is a 1999 West Champions pen. Don't know about that one. This one seems interesting. It's got a pickle or something on it. 2008 spring training. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why there's a pick. It's a cactus. Cactus. Because the spring training is always either in Arizona or Florida. Okay. Well, yeah. I like learned pickles, something new. Though. Okay. 
AL West Division 2010 champions. At least it used to always be in Arizona and Florida. I haven't watched baseball in a while, so I don't know if that's still true. I think this is a Rusty Greer Hall of Fame pen, maybe. Here's another one, exactly the same. Yes, the Ranger Hall of Fame. And, oh, the same thing. This Two is of a them. World Series pen? Yes. Think any of these will be worth it? Uh, no. Okay. I think we'll, we'll, we'll either break even or we'll make a few bucks. Atlanta All-Star Game? You don't even think that pickle one will be worth it? Maybe this one. Uh, it's cactus. <laughs> and no, I don't because it's just spring training. It's rain. And it's Rangers. It, I mean, I love the Rangers, so but pen? they're not the most collectible. Have you found, have, had you brought home a bunch of Yankee stuff? Then yes, most definitely. No, we don't live there. I know, exactly. It's another World Series. We're not going to make a ton on these. I'll, I'll say that. But we might come out okay. First interlude. Plus, they're small. They don't take much space. And, you know, this is new. It has the whole thing. So maybe that'll be worth something. And we've sold a lot of other kinds of baseball pins, so... We'll see. And this is a whole set. <clears throat> oh, this is the first interleague game pen. This one might have potential. More Ranger Hall of Fame. Oates, Sunberg, Charlie Huff, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan? Know, I know everybody except for, I'm not sure who Oates is. Hall of Oates? Uh, no, definitely not Hall of Oates. And then John Wetland and Holtz. Oh, he was the announcer for years and years. Mike Holtz, I think. So, probably not worth it? Uh, I would say that's a push. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, here's the thing I think is going to have been worth the whole sale. Is they have this Jean Autry official ranch outfit. I paid $10 for this. Oh my god, look at that. Um, the box is in really rough shape. Oh my goodness. Now, originally this came with pants, a button-down shirt, so it's missing that. But the fact that it still has the cap gun, this is from 1950s. It has the Jean Autry holster. Oh, with two of the rubber bullets. Or bullets, whatever Here's the other one. Oh, nice. I guess that's not a cap gun. I guess that shoots rubber bullets. Wooden bullets. I don't know if it shoots anything, but... And then it has the rope. So, like, this gun is really cool. It's got, like, a horse on the... That is the really grip. cool. Oh, my God. Here, let me show. That is neat. I, so oh, it's, I it's hefty, too. That, that was still sitting there. That. that was just sitting there. Nobody even seemed interested I, in it. Yeah. And it actually, the uh, the hammer actually goes and has the little, I mean, it's a little corroded, but not bad. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Oh my goodness, it actually works. <laughs> There's like dust. Shit. I'm not going to do it again because it might break, but yeah. it worked. Yeah, for a 72-year-old guy. Looks like uh, the, the hammer the might be broken hammer. off, but yeah. other than that, this is in pretty good shape. Yeah. Can nice. you believe that? No, I cannot. Yeah. Let me show them the, this. Careful, the bullets fall out easily. Little wooden bullets. And then check out the detail on the... Man. That's what toys used to be made like. Yeah, that's a... I think that was a really good pickup. Yeah, so this used to come with, like, clothing and stuff. We don't have any of that. So anyway, that is everything that I got at the estate sale today. Um, let me know if you think we we did a good job or not. So that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel and you feel like that we earned your subscription, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below with the notification bells turned on so you can be kept informed of all of our latest content. Thanks so much for joining and we will see you guys on the flip side.